Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. I've promised you two days ago a test uh, regarding the what I called the op amps war, uh, and we are talking about uh, some some say that uh, they hear differences between different type of op amps, and uh, especially in uh, uh, in the classic uh, circuit of uh, TS-808 and also in, uh, in other types of, uh, of guitar pedals that are using uh, uh, clipping diodes. Uh, first I'm going to present the, uh, the system that I'm going to use for this test and then we are going to, uh, to test uh, five types of uh, op amps, five types of op amps that I had uh, around here in the shop. One it's 4558, the original uh, TS uh, 808 uh, op amp. Uh, the other one is, uh, let me see, uh, LM358 and uh, the other one is MC4058. Uh, we have uh, NE5532, uh, again we have TL072, uh, and uh, let me see this, it's, oh, uh, this is the uh, 4558, the, the original uh, type of uh, op amp that it's uh, uh, inside the uh, TS808. Uh, so uh, this is it. I'm going to present you the system. Then we are going to to make some uh, some tests. So we're back, um, and I will present you what I'm going to use for this measurement. Uh, as software, I'm using uh, HOLM Impulse version 1.4.2. It's a freeware uh, tool that it's very capable. I like it a lot. Uh, for this. I'm using uh, M Audio Fast Track uh, sound card that it's quite okay for this purpose. It's linear, as you can see, from uh, 20 hertz to 20k. It's more than enough for this test. And I'm using my uh, my clone of TS808 with all the controls at 12 o'clock. All the controls are at 12 o'clock. Uh, there is no op amp inside right now. What I'm going to tell you is that we are not going to be uh, we are not going to be interested in uh, the actual numbers because some may might say that uh, uh, the actual numbers are not correct because uh, it's a uh, it's a software and uh, also uh, it's made with a with the sound card, but we are actually going to be interested in in uh, the uh, in the frequency response. And uh, as long as all the test data it's uh, are constant, like the pedal is the same, the power source is the same, at the same voltage, the software is the same. Uh, the the results are going to be influenced only by the the change of the the op amps so this is, uh, is what we are interested in not about the numbers but uh if there is there are changes in the sound and in the frequency response when we are going to change the op amps uh the blue light i'm going also to provide you with the screenshots of the actual tests um the blue line represents the, the the frequency response of the of the pedal on bypass and well i'm going to make a measurement a reference measurement you might hear hear the 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 sweep the audio sweep uh, there there are a pair of uh, headphones uh, uh, around here that are uh, connected directly to the monitor output of the, of the sound card so you can see that the frequency response is flat from 20 to 20k what I'm going to do now is I'm going to 
put inside the pedal the 4558 original IC and I'm going to have to ask you to excuse me but uh, doing this with only one hand it's quite uh, okay so all the controls are 12 o'clock right now the pedal is on bypass but I'm going to activate it okay and we are going to run the measurement on the red channel so So there you have it. This is the frequency response uh, with all the the knobs of 12, at 12 o'clock and using the original uh, 4558 uh, op amp. What I'm going to do now is pull out the power supply and I'm going to try to take out the, the op amp. Uh, right now what I'm going to take in is a uh, LM358 uh, is a general purpose operational amplifier. I'm going to put it here. Okay. Not going to, to put it all the way in because it's, uh, it's going to be hard to, to pull out. Okay. So I'm going to reconnect the power supply again. All controls of 12 o'clock at 12 o'clock okay and we are going to take another measurement on the green channel okay so that was the first one was uh, the the red one was the uh, 4558 the green one was the uh, 358. Okay. Uh, I I have three more uh, three more uh, op amps. Um, I'm going to to let the uh, the red channel in place because uh, it was uh, taken with uh, the measurement was taken with the uh, original 4558, and I'm going to replace. Right now, the LM358. Uh, okay, so we are going to take the take it out, take the IC out, put it away, and we are going to take I don't know. Let's see what we have here. It's uh, it's MC1458, with which is another uh, general purpose operational amplifier. Okay, so we have put it there, the pedal is on, and we are going to take the measurement again against uh, MC1458, so we're going to measure. Okay, so right now we have MC1458. Not much to talk about it. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is pull the cord off and replace the op amp inside with another one. Let's see what we have here. What we have here, it's a NE5532 op amp. Another op amp that it's used extensively in uh, guitar pedals. Okay, so we have it in. Again, all knobs at 12 o'clock. Okay. Put it back in. And we are going to take the measurement on the green channel for NA5532. Uh, measure. Okay.
Okay, so this was the measurement for 5532. And the final one, it's the infamous TL072. Okay, so the the buttons are again here. Okay, so we have power and we are going to take the measurement with TL072. Okay, the the problem is, as you can see, <laughs> this is all also validation for uh, <laughs> for this test. It's uh, I don't think I put it right in the in the socket. Uh, recording amplitude is low, min minus forty five dB. So we are going to have to measure uh, at a higher volume. The problem is that the uh, the, the op amp I think was not. It's either. It's either bad, although it's kind of improbable. It's either bad or uh, it it wasn't. Well put in the socket, so uh, I'm going to try and bend the lids a little bit and put it back here. Let's see. OK, so uh, now I think it's OK. Put the knobs back to 12 o'clock because they're they moved a little bit and we are going to retake this uh, so we are going to measure it okay so this this time it it was okay in the socket and uh, everything went just fine so um uh, this is <laughs> this is the the test that I've made. Uh, I'm not going to pull out any conclusions here, really. Uh, I'm going to provide you with uh, all the zip files and the measurement data uh, for the for the op amps and uh, also for the entire uh, entire test. You are going to pull the conclusions when uh, we can discuss about it. And uh, as I said, I'm going to provide you with all the necessary data for uh, and the zip files, the actual zip files uh, with the measuring uh, measuring data that uh, I've made today. And uh, you can uh, load them if you like uh, in your own uh, whole impulse, uh, impulse copy on your, on your PC. So guys, uh, that was the experiment. That I've done. Uh, if you have some questions regarding the testing rig or uh, any other question, I would gladly answer them. Uh, I have to say that I'm not trying to start a flame uh, on this subject. I've made this test because, uh, in my knowledge, uh, there is uh, no such test on the uh, internet. So, uh, I don't trust ears. Because they are prone to uh, some elements like called psychoacoustics. And uh, I trust numbers because I'm an engineer. So if you have some relevant data, some relevant measurements made with actual uh, instruments, whatever they are, I will gladly uh, talk and discuss about it. But I will not discuss about uh, what... Uh, it's heard by ears and by uh, playing a guitar and uh, by, uh, I don't know, uneven input, input signals, uh, different uh, uh, setting, uh, settings on uh, guitars or uh, amps uh, or uh, uh, pedals. So some measurement and controlled tests are okay, but I'm not going to fall into discussion about uh, uh, psychoacoustics and uh, tests made uh, uh, with uh, with uh, amps and uh, uh, different uh, 
different uh, dy uh, playing dynamics, uh, etc. Thank you guys for watching this. This is Dexter from uh, Dexter's uh, Workshop. I do hope you will find this, uh, uh, I don't know, interesting and uh, is going to, to help you on your uh, future development. And have a nice weekend, guys.